I just got my Wayfair, which is the July Coco Daisy kit. I bought all of the planner things. So I bought the planner kit, I bought the planner classified kit, and I also purchased all of the stickers that go along with the planner kit. Um, and then I also bought the dashboard. So I spent like a hundred bucks um, and I really have been enjoying Coco Daisy very much lately because of not just the details, the artwork, but I get papers and the die cuts and stickers, which is like totally my jam. I also have been getting the standard size traveler's notebook. Now, last month, on, I'll put a little video here, I walk you through what I've been, you know, working with as far as the standard size notebook. Now, I don't know if I love the fact that well, there's no structure, which is fine because I can create the structure, but to create the structure that I want, I want to be able to take the traveler's notebook and put it the pages in a certain order. I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff in out of the way. So we have the traveler's notebook and this is how it comes. Obviously, um, you've got the front cover, which is the card stock. Um, I did take out the staples, but I haven't moved any of the paper. So everything is where it should be. I just kind of wanted to prep it so we could do this on camera together because, you know, that's fun. So obviously you have your month calendar and then you have your lined pages with this stripe here. This is always this way. Now this is new, is having this artwork right in the middle instead of on the edges. I kind of like this. Gives me idea. So then it has a series of um, of these pages, which are all doc, uh, lined grid and the floor, the stripe on the side. Now, what I've been doing last month, which I really, really enjoyed, was I turned it on its side and I used this for check boxes. And I'll insert a picture of what I was doing. And then I had sections and then I wrote my to do list that way. I've also divided the sections vertically and done it like a weekly thing. But I was thinking, like, what if I like combined the pages because after the, the the grid then we have a series of blank pages and then we have back to our lined but instead and then we have some open spaces some you know plain whites and then there's the dot grid so here i am on camera I took out the staples and we're going to rearrange pages we're going to rearrange the pages now this might be a good idea it might not be a good idea but we're going to try because I want a series of to do lists, open spaces and weekly views. That's what I want. This is not getting it done for me. So I thought, you know, why not try? So here we go. We're going to clearly make this the front. OK, by the way, I'm throwing that to the side because I'm not going to need it. And I always have to keep in mind as and I've been in Traveler's Notebooks over the years enough that I know what pages would go with what now if you would say take this page out you can certainly flip it over like this and make this page so now i have a dot grid i have a lined and i have a solid and then another lined so this is just going to be one of those days where i'm just going to really noodle about what I want. I really want this spread like it is because I love the design of it. This is great for lists, brain dump, that sort of thing. This is where it gets dicey. So I don't know if I want doc, I don't want lined and lined. So I'm going to change it up. Plus we also have to think about matchy matchy. Do I care that this artwork and this artwork are no longer going to be together? And the answer is I don't care because there is plenty of other artwork that I think will work just as fine. Meaning, this would look absolutely lovely between the, yes, you have two quotes, but you have a plane across from a dot and then another lined. I don't want the lined, I want the dot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these that are plain with the dot on the back and do it this way. So we've got Grid, solid, dot, lined. Okay, and we're back to plain. Okay, the problem is, is I have to think about what I want in between. So I'm gonna just rearrange off camera and I'm gonna come right back.
decided to put this as my cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nest all these together and then I'm going to, okay, hold on. I got to think about this. I want this to be the cover and then I want the pocket on that side. Okay. See, this is what happens when I have an idea and I turn the camera on and that's what you get. Okay. I have to go in from this side and flip it over. And this is that long arm staple that I've been using for years and it's set up because I have a little mark right over here and it should be just perfect right up in that crease. And if it's a little off, I'm gonna be fine. I'm not gonna cry. Too bad. Oh my God, look, it worked, perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off the top and then I'm gonna fold this in to make a pocket. Now, the pocket, I have to recrease this. Oh, this will look fun. And then the pocket is gonna be like, maybe I should do it this way. That's what I'll do. I'll put a pocket on the outside. All right, so um, let me trim this off. Get this starting to get little sealed here and then we're good to go. I just need to move all of this stuff so I can get to cutting. All right, I've cut that off, but now I wanna fold this to make a pocket. So now I have to, I wanna make sure that the, our curious is right and I could either use a bone folder which, if you don't know what a bone folder is, it's like this. So then you would just score it a couple times with this right where you want to go. And it creates enough of a crease where it makes it easy to fold in. Um, but I want to actually fold this way. Because I'm going to make a pocket on the outside of the planner instead of the inside. So now I have this. So what I'll do... Oh, that would look pretty if I folded this down. I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder to create this crease here. More of a permanent crease. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it down. Oh, how cute is that? Fold that down here. I love the texture of that. And then I'll just adhere here and then I have a pocket. And I'm also not gonna go all the way to the top here. I'm gonna give it room to like have chunkier things. If I went all the way to the top, then it would kind of like bulb us out. <laughs> That's a terrible word, but you know what I mean. Like if you don't go all the way to the top, you have a little bit more room for growth in here. So. Now we just have to push down firmly because I've had it before where I've used that adhesive tape and it does come off and it probably will, but for the most part, it's the cutest little pocket ever. Um, let's look at this, see if any of this paper would work. Would be cute. Now we have pocket with something in it. I need paper. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, let's use one of these. That's what I need. Which one should I put? I want to think. I'm going to cut it off right above that. Oh my gosh, perfect. Oh, love it. Okay, there you go. I finished. I think it looks cute. You could add a little bit of a die cut or something under here. Maybe some, um, like, I don't know. That's cute. I like that right there. Um, love this right here at the bottom. And even better, I love my insert because it's exactly the way I want it. Page by page is different. They're all mixed. Every week is going to have its own little theme. 
in its own little journey. This is like perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. A mix of dot grid, graph, and plane. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed today's little mini video on my first insert cover. I will see you guys next time. Thanks.